Hey everyone. Okay, I'm gonna work on a problem I've been having with making circuits on circuit boards in this game lately, which is there's no one-shot input on a lot of the gadgets that you put on a circuit board. I've created a little bit of circuitry, or designed a bit of circuitry, that will help you uh, resolve that problem if you're having that like I am. So what I've done is I've made a heavy object with a mover on it that moves up. So to start the, the logic of the circuit, we'll start with an exclusive OR gate. And what it does is that it'll only detect if only one input is on. If both inputs are on, it'll turn off. If none, no inputs are on, it'll stay off. Um, the next piece is a timer. The timer is going to count to 0.2 seconds, and it's going to be set to a directional mode. So basically, when I have the input turned on, it's going to count for 0.2 seconds, and then it's going to turn on. Um, so I'm going to connect the output of that timer to the exclusive OR gate. But to start, I'll take my X button, I'll connect it to the first input on the exclusive OR gate and connect my output to the mover. So when I push the X button right now, I'm going to move up, irregardless, because there's nothing on the other input of the gate. Now I'm going to connect my X button to the timer input. So when I hold my X button, the timer's going to count up. When I release the X button, the timer's going to count down. Connect the output of the timer to the input of that exclusive OR gate. So now, when the timer's done counting, it's going to turn on, and when I'm holding my X button, it's going to it's going to also be on, and the exclusive OR gate's going to detect both outputs being turned on, or inputs being turned on. Sorry, um, and as soon as it sees both inputs on, it's going to turn off. So you have 0.2 seconds while you go up before it turns off. Essentially, that's what the circuit does. Now, if you notice though, when I'm holding the X button and I release it, I actually I actually do another jump. So to resolve this issue, I had to use an AND gate. And what the AND gate does essentially is, is detects when I have held the button and when I've released the button, because the timer's not able to react fast enough to from when I actually depress the X button. They'll, it'll turn off when it's done counting down, so it has to count up to turn on and it has to count down to turn off. So what I've done is I basically added an AND gate and when it's counting up and I'm holding the button, I'll send the turn off signal to the exclusive OR gate. When I'm not holding the button and the timer's still on and it's counting down, it'll turn off because I'm not holding the button anymore, in fact. So that was one way I resolved it. I'm sure there's a timer mode that might um, resolve this problem, but I like this mode. I have a lot of control over it. So there you go. When I hold the X button, I jump up once and that's it. Um, of course, you need to add a more of a delay if you don't want to keep double jumping, but that's how you do a one-shot with debounce.